standing here today beside you, I can't help but feel overwhelmingly honored and lucky. I pledge to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. <laughs> I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, be silly with you, dance with you, dream with you, and conti continue our traditional Wednesday night sushi and survivor. It's been 343 days of engagement. I had to do the math for that. <laughs> <laughs> and every day I would wake up feeling honored to call you my fiance. But I think we can both say without a doubt that 343 days is long enough. I'm ready to call you my wife. I love you. Matt. Our story is my favorite one to tell. For a long time, I didn't believe that a man like you existed. <laughs> a man who was loving, incredibly selfless, kind, and who could rock a fedora on any occasion. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be a steady rock for you to lean on. And most of all, I promise to pray for you, show you grace, and do my very best to show you the unconditional love of Jesus. I love you. May they love each other deeply. May they love passionately so that their lives will glorify you. Father, may they love others in your name to be happy to share them happy to share with them not only Jesus, but their lives as well. And may your goodness and amazing mercy follow them all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So guys, it's by the power vested in me, in my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure and joy to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Matt and Emily McNeese. With both of them being as kind, thoughtful, and determined as they are, I cannot wait to see what lies ahead in their future together. From starting their teaching careers, to buying their first home, to eventually starting a family together. 
all from just a passing glance at a church party. I wish the very best for y'all. And then may the best days of your past be the worst days of your future. Cheers to that, man. I just wanted to start by introducing myself and how I know Emily. So Emily and I have known each other since elementary school. We've done a lot of life together. We have so many memories, um, from vacations to Hilton Head, Disney World, um, dance parties in your house, leading small groups together, um, cheering together, having crushes on the same boys in middle school, um, a Friday morning breakfast with our dads, going to New York with our moms. Um, we've just done so much together. I'm praying that God would do amazing things in and through your relationship and that you would have a beautiful life together and just so thankful for both of you. So if you know me, you know I'm going to need some note cards and some tissues. Grant, I've got extras if you need them. <laughs> Kyle, yeah. I now have another son. And I think we talked the other day and I think we're going to now be called the Mick Wicknicks. <laughs> so. Um, just so very proud of both of you. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Julie for being a great mom to the kids. Um, we gave you guys some challenging situations through life. And like my stepmom said last night at the rehearsal dinner, you guys persevered. I always thought I would stand up here and say no one is good enough for my little girl. Um, the one part of that song where it said that. Um, but I can tell you, Matt is good enough for my little girl. When those dreams you're dreaming come true and the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel pride, but always stay humble and kind. Don't take for granted the love this life gives you when you get where you're going, don't forget to turn back around. Help the next one in line. Always stay humble and kind. I love you both so much. And um, let's dance.